So with the new release of Marvel's What If series, I thought being a Star Wars fan as well as a Marvel fan, one that specifically loves fan fictions and to ask the question, What If? What if Star Wars made a What If series that was way too many What Ifs in one sentence? But what if I got on with the intro and then actually told you my 10 What If ideas that Star Wars could do in their own series? The first one that I want to talk about is what if Anakin stayed on Mortis? Now obviously, as the chosen one, if Anakin stayed on Mortis, um, he wouldn't stay there for long because he would have to leave and defeat the Sith somehow unless Palpatine arrived on Mortis. I don't know, but I would want to know what would actually happen if Anakin stayed on Mortis like the father requested him to do. Now, the father wanted Anakin to replace him because obviously he is getting very, very old. Anakin's potential is extremely high and he could become more powerful than the father, probably would have achieved it on Mortis and been even stronger on Mortis than he would be somewhere else because, well, like we saw in the Clone Wars, he was amped by being on Mortis. So, you know, that would be the same if full potential Anakin arrived on Mortis or Anakin reached his full potential on Mortis. It would work the same, in my opinion, that planet amps a force wielder. So I'd want to know, one, how powerful he'd get, and two, what he'd actually do. He'd be there with the intention to uh, stop the son and the daughter from escaping. Basically, this was before this daughter had died when the father requested this, because uh, obviously Anakin turned it down and then left originally. Then Ahsoka was captured, so like he was brought back to Mortis. So the daughter and the son would be alive. He'd have to watch over those two. Would he be successful? Would the son corrupt the daughter? Would the son corrupt Anakin? Who knows but i would want to know what would happen let me know what you think would happen in these what if scenarios but that is definitely one that i think would be very very interesting um in a star wars what if series now speaking of someone staying somewhere when requested number two is going to be what if luke stayed on dagobah when yoda asked him to obviously in the empire strikes back uh, Luke wasn't meant to go to Bespin or Cloud City. Yoda and Old Ben, as a Force Ghost, both wanted Luke to stay on Dagobah and complete his training. So what would happen if Luke actually did? Would Han, Leia, Chewie, 3PO, Lando, would they all be alive still? Luke would obviously still have his hand. He wouldn't find out that Vader was his father. What would Vader do if Luke never came? Because obviously he'd never have told Luke that he was his father. And then Luke obviously rejected him. So Vader would probably still have hope to turn Luke. Luke doesn't lose a hand. And he probably would become more powerful um, by the time of Return of the Jedi. Does he still use his anger in his fight against Vader in Return of the Jedi? If he does, does he defeat him like with much more ease? Does he end up killing Palpatine and Vader? Who knows, but once again, I think it would be really, really cool to see uh, what would happen here. I personally definitely believe that Luke would be much, much more powerful and would potentially be able to defeat Palpatine and one, know that he shouldn't chuck his lightsaber away because Palpatine is an ex like a force lightning user and two, when he has his lightsaber still, be able to block it and then defeat Palpatine, say like Rey has done, Windu nearly did, I mean he did best Palpatine but ended up dying because of Anakin, but Windu nearly did, or maybe even learn some Tutor Minus from Yoda, because obviously we see Yoda do that in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, and I believe in the Clone Wars, but I think it was just a vision, I don't think he faces Dooku in the Clone Wars, so I think it was just a vision with Palpatine. Anyway, number three is another one that includes Anakin slash Vader, and that is, what if Ahsoka, like, redeemed Anakin in Star Wars Rebels? Obviously, Vader has that moment still with the yellow Sith eye after his helmet has been popped open where he says Ahsoka obviously like trying to speak to her um, but he was still like fully corrupt in the dark side at that point Ahsoka wasn't close to redeeming him Filoni stated that only Luke could do so but what if Ahsoka actually did just like all those fan edits of his eye turning from yellow to blue or well, like showed us what would happen Obviously, Vader is a very important figure in the Empire. One, just like for the Empire in like the actual Star Wars universe, but two, in all the movies and content we see of the Empire. So what would happen if Vader came back to the light? Would the Rebellion accept him? Would he face Palpatine? Would he succeed? Who knows? Now, there is a myth saying Palpatine uh, made Vader's suit vulnerable to Force Lightning, but that's not true. I made a video on it. Um, 
but yeah, what do you think would happen? I definitely believe that him, Ahsoka, maybe Ezra and Kanan would go to face Palpatine. And I think if all of them went, they would most definitely be successful. Maybe even Vader knew the whereabouts of some other Jedi. I'm not too sure. Inquisitors were still alive at that point. Maybe Vader convinces a few of them to turn back to the light. Or like he threatens to kill them if they don't try and fight Palpatine with them. I don't know. But I think that's very, very cool to think about. And well, it makes me wonder... What if? Now moving on from Anakin slash Vader, we have one about the Mandalorian from the first episode of season one. Now, what we see in that episode is Mando and IG-11 have Grogu in front of them, both preparing, or what we thought was both, preparing to kill Grogu as they had been ordered to. Well, they hadn't actually been ordered to, so I don't know why IG-11 went straight for the kill, because obviously Mando was told dead or alive, alive more money. Um, but either way, IG-11 went for the kill, and Mando shot him in the head. So what if IG-11 was successful in killing Grogu? Now, this is a question um, that I want answered further down the line when we actually know what would happen if Grogu wasn't shot, because we don't know how he like impacts on the main storyline of Star Wars, but once we find out what Grogu's purpose is in the timeline, I would want to know what would happen if Grogu wasn't there. So is he a part of Palpatine's cloning process with himself, Snoke? Is he a prominent figure in Luke's Jedi Order? Is he alive after the sequels? And then obviously, like I said, if this is so, I would want to know what would happen if Grogu wasn't there. Now five, moving on to the first sequel one, but wait, if you don't like the sequels, these are probably two of your favourite characters from the sequels anyway. What if Han Solo was successful in redeeming Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens? Uh, I think this would be a very, very interesting like story to take, because obviously this is the first of the three sequel movies, so there's a lot that could happen due to Kylo um, becoming Ben Solo again in the first movie, therefore basically two movies worth and gaps in between the last two of them um, of him being a light side Jedi. Would he train Rey? Most likely. Would him and Rey face Palpatine by themselves and be like more powerful and able to do it easier? So therefore they would both survive it. Just like Vader turning back, would the Resistance accept Kylo Ren back? How would he like interact with his mum and well, his dad being Han? How would Snoke react? How would Hux react? How would the just the First Order in general react? I would really want to find this out and that's exactly why I've got it in this list as something that I'd want to find out what would happen if it did happen. Let me know what you think would happen. Speaking of Han Solo, 6 is going to be what if Han died in Carbonite. Now we obviously know that the like Carbonite freeze in place on Bespin wasn't tested before. Vader wanted to use Han to be the test dummy before he tries to trap Luke in it and then bring Luke to Palpatine via that. Well, obviously because of this, there's a high risk that it wouldn't work. So what would happen because of this? What would happen to the rebellion with Han being dead? How would Luke, Leia, Chewie, etc. react? Um, how would Boba Fett and Jabba the Hutt react? Because obviously Boba wanted his money. Vader's just straight up gotten rid of his money without even caring too much. He's just intentionally put his bounty in a situation where he's likely to die however vader did say that the, the empire would pay him like to make up the money would jabba be too happy about this because obviously he wanted han to be like well on his wall as like a, a piece of art or just to show his accomplishment so i think this would be a really really good one mainly for how the rebellion would cope with han's death but also i think seeing how the characters react would be very interesting as well especially someone like luke a force user would this set him down a dark path who knows now seven going back to star wars rebels what if ezra tried to save kanan not when kanan initially died when he was in the world between worlds with ahsoka obviously he wanted to attempt to save kanan but ahsoka stopped him so i want to know what would happen if either ahsoka didn't try and stop him or ezra just didn't listen and tried to save kanan now ahsoka explained how if kanan was taken out of that situation uh him hera and sabine would all die so would this be the case would the chopper get pushed away by the explosion or would it go down in flames with it? Would Kanan successfully live if Ezra tried to pull him out? And how would that affect the rebellion and the attempt to like fight back for Lothal and get control of it again overthrown? Obviously Ezra and Kanan, two prominent figures of the ghost crew and the rebellion as a whole as they are Jedi. So yeah, this would be really, really cool to see. How would Kanan react to Ezra um, after Ezra tells him that he's literally from the future basically and has 
like saved Kanan from this, causing Hera and Sabine to die. How would Kanan react? I don't think he'd be too happy, but this would be something very cool. But this would be something that I'd want to find out, especially with Ahsoka surviving from the world between worlds. Where would she go to after this? Because obviously we know that she literally goes back to Malachor once she is saved to basically play it out as if she just normally survived rather than just being saved. So I wonder if Ahsoka would do any different this time. So yeah, I think this is a really interesting one. Now, 8 is a bit of a meme one, but at the same time, not. What if Coleman Trevor was successful in killing Count Dooku? Obviously, in Geonosis, or on Geonosis, in the, like, battle arena, Coleman tried to jump down in front of Count Dooku and take him where he stood. Now, Django obviously defeated Coleman much before Dooku even needed to ignite his lightsaber. But what if Coleman was just that little bit quicker and stab Dooku. How would that affect the Clone Wars? How would that affect Palpatine? Because obviously Dooku was his apprentice. Would he go back for Maul once he found out he was alive? Would he go for Asajj Ventress? Would he just stick with Grievous and potentially train him a little bit more? Or would he go for Anakin a little bit earlier? Or even, would he just stick with the rule of one for a little bit until Anakin was ready to be turned? And if so, like I said, how would this affect the Clone Wars? Dooku is obviously what people see to be the leader of the Separatists, because obviously uh, Palpatine is like in like the shadows doing it all, but they don't know that. So how would this affect the Clone Wars? I think this is a huge, huge one in terms of the impact on like the whole galaxy. And at the same time, like I said, because it is Coleman Trevor, he is a bit of a meme. It's still a fun one, so this would be one of the ones I would really, really like to see. Well, I would really, really like to see all of them. I've literally got like 30 ideas, so I'm planning on doing multiple parts of this video. But out of all of them, this is one that I could see them doing because one, it's fun. Two, it's like greatly impactful. Three, it's just a cool idea because it involves a couple of big characters. Now nine, going back to the character of Ahsoka Tano, what if in season seven of the Clone Wars, she joined Darth Maul like he requested her to? She actually agreed to do this, but she just asked a question about Anakin, and then because of Maul's answer, she decided not to join him. So what if she doesn't do this, and she does join Maul? Does she manage to convince Maul to bring a couple of Jedi along the way to defeat Palpatine? Do her and Maul just go and defeat Palpatine? Are they successful? I personally think that it would be a very, very close fight. Season 7 Maul and Ahsoka versus Revenge of the Sith Palpatine is basically Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. Obviously, Windu bested this Palpatine, but at the same time, that Palpatine took out three Jedi Masters in about, like, ten seconds. So I think it could go either way. More likely that they are not successful because as good as Maul and Ahsoka are at dueling put together they would probably be able to defeat Palpatine in a straight duel. Palpatine's force power is just levels above the both of them so what if they were defeated? How would that impact the galaxy? Obviously Crimson Dawn is led by Maul so how would that work? Uh, Ahsoka is a prominent figure in the Rebellion and the Rebel series. How would that go? Ezra would probably die on Malachor for one because Ahsoka comes and fights Vader to save him. So a lot would happen if Ahsoka died, if Maul died. But what even if they were successful? successful and they killed Palpatine, that is even more impactful and then what does Maul do after they defeat Palpatine? Like, because he's obviously not a good person so would he turn on Ahsoka straight away? Probably and then how would that go down? So there's a lot that could happen from what if Ahsoka joined Darth Maul. And then last up, number 10, what if Luke missed his shot when shooting the Death Star? Would he be able to get another run and then successfully shoot that? Would he be shot down and killed? Would Han survive? Because obviously he's there and if he had to stay around a little bit longer, potentially the Millennium Falcon was shot down. Does the Death Star survive? Obviously meaning more planets are going to die. The Death Star 2 doesn't get made, etc, etc. I think this is very, very interesting. A lot could happen from this. And it's again... Um, going off what we've seen in the Marvel What If series, I think this is relatively realistic because it's something that definitely could have happened. It's only a small thing that has to change, you know, because it's a very small hole that the two um, shots have to go down. So it's not exactly a random huge thing that would have to change for this What If to be realistic. It's not exactly like what if Obi-Wan became a Sith Lord because there's not one decision that would make him turn to a Sith Lord, say. So I think this is one that could realistically be done in a What If series and I really want to know what would happen. 
again let me know like for all of these 10 what you think would happen if these happened and i if i can remember i'll try and leave a comment saying the saying like a precise thing i think would happen um from all 10 of these so with that being said that is 10 pitches for a star wars what if series like i said i have many many more so if this video goes down well and if you want me to do so i will more than happily do some more what if ideas for a star wars what if series but with that being said that is all for this video please do leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you are new click the notification bell so you don't miss a video and with that being said goodbye